guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episodes 15 and 16 of Blue Reflection Race. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 15 in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Cleaning spray. Oh, is she cleaning up after me? I mean, because, you know, what's the first thing? And she just wants everybody to be friends. But, I mean, the situation of Miyoko and Nina, like, how, how how can you be friends with someone after they took out, you know, your flower out of you? Your feelings. Like, mm -mm, no, no. And I get the fact that, you know, she wants her to stay with them because of the fact that, you know, Nina is possibly out sleeping in the middle of nowhere, homeless and stuff because of the fact that, she, you know, she's not with our bad guys and such, but I get it. But at the same time, Nina has always been a loner and on her own. She doesn't want to have people be burdened with her and such, you know. Uh oh. Oh, Nina! So, That's hilarious.
Ja. No. Yeah, but she's going to see Nina. And that might trigger something in her. I mean, who knows? Like, yes, yeah, sometimes seeing someone from your past can trigger the hell out of you. But because I don't think What's Your Face remembers Nina, then... I know. Yeah. You're right. I mean, it would be better for you three to try it out yourselves. But sometimes, in a way, you have to believe Nina. Because we can't leave Momo like this.
Well, you need to take a break, guys. <laughs> Ooh, pudding bar. Yeah. It is. Mm-hmm. AKA Nina. Yeah, but it's obvious that you have a crush on Amidu. Or really that Amidu has a crush on you and she hasn't said anything to you. And so we're hoping and praying that by the end of this series, she's able to say something to you once hopefully she gets her memories and her feelings back. I hope so.
probably your feelings of love. And the fact that you weren't getting those same feelings of love from her. the lovable idiots well you need charcoal and everything oh goodness I, I mean I would too after hearing that I mean especially you know you say Naruka, like, you know, after I'm gone, I fall asleep, you know. That's so sad. Cause she wants to with be a Amiya no matter what. No, no, don't say that.
Hi. I love you. Love you too. Come on, Cody. Let's go. Oh, I thought they would have kicked her out. You're right. Okay, this was a lie, especially for the situation of, you know, Roka and Amiru and that situation where it's like, if she dies, like, she wants Ruka to take care of her, but then at the same time with Ruka, um, she can't live without Ayamu. She feels a certain type of way, and so if Ayamu isn't there for her, she feels like she is empty as a person and, and it's like it's almost how i can say when you meet someone who is like your not only the significant other but like your from what i i can't believe i'm gonna say this um one of my favorite celebrities said when she met her current future husband um i think it's called a twin flame or something or someone who you just really really care about who is almost on that same level for you or, you know, seeing them or being around that person makes living so much more worth it and being with that person, just being in the moment with them, their, their embrace, the happy times, the sad times, everything else in between, you just, you're truly living not only for yourself but also for them because you love them. And you want to be happy with that person. And so if they're not together, if one of them is part away from the other, why should they, you know, not move on without them? And it's, it's hard. Like, imagine if it was, like I said, your significant other, you know, especially if you've been together for so many plus years and something tragic happens to them it, it is like the best thing where you know people say like oh i can still live on for them like think about the stories or like true life events where um oh my god because there, there's a lot of movies inspired by this there's this one movie i called i think it was called all my life i believe um and the guy had cancer and i'm thinking like he could beat this and stuff but long story short the real life couple and the guy who had cancer unfortunately he he lost his battle to cancer and so his wife initially kept on living for him i don't know if she initially remarried and stuff but sometimes you know when you find that person who you really really truly want to be with for the rest of your life and if something tragic happens to them you can't see yourself with anybody else but that person and so you some people do initially keep that um person's last name especially if it is a wife you know after a widowed husband and such they usually will keep that name in spite for them because they still love them so much and they want to be known as that person's last name for the rest of their life up until their time is up uh, but i really like that got me in the feels i ain't cry but like the the warm fuzzy and the little crying like it, deep inside i'm probably like a big ass mess right now but 
I, I just, I really hope that they find a way to get everybody's like, feelings back to them because it, it, it's just every single week we're getting depression, 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 more depression, depression. Here's a little happy moment, depression. Like, <laughs> this hurts, this hurts so fucking much. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 16. Okay, episode 16 in 3, 2, 1, go. Excuse me, sorry. And of course she wants more than that. We really had to start the episode like this. They, like, we literally probably about to end this episode with both of these two losing their feelings and, and Roka just being an empty shell as well. I don't want that. Like, no, that's not cool. Please don't do that. Mm-mm. It's cold. Excuse me.
Why should be nothing inside of this package? Nothing. Is there anything in there? Nothing. Oh, dang. Was it worth it? No. Okay. Don't do it. So we're not going to move their bodies or something? Momo! in between. Mm -hmm. But there's a price, isn't there? Hmm. It's so sad. Exactly.
See, I wasn't really ready for them to, you know, fight them yet. Especially Nina fighting her. I was waiting more like episode 20. But, you know, I'm, I'm okay with it for now. Damn it. I should have known. I know, you're friends. See, when I saw the rings, what I, I didn't initially think, okay, they're going to be bad guys. What I was thinking was this was to call them, but no, they're together. This is wrong, though.
basically. See, now this is just getting even more complicated, you know. Woo! <laughs> we, we are adding so much to the fire, but still, Hiwati is the key for everything, no matter what. But even with the other way, Hiwati isn't the key. So it's like, what do you do? Do you sacrifice one girl to save everyone? Or you don't sacrifice the one girl to save everyone? Yeah, it's one of those things. Literally the one person or persons that they were trying to save is now evil. Because they will kill you, and they will have no remorse for it. No, the If you would have told me at the start of the second half of the show that these two, 
who were just hanging out with them last episode would have been bad guys this week. If we don't get a whole episode on this, I need this next week, okay? You need to start start right where that ended, okay? Okay? Don't don't screw around with me. Don't fuck with me. Don't do it. Uh, no. No. You start right where this ended. All that. One episode. Don't 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 skip. Okay? Okay? Don't skip. Don't do it. I might be watching this tomorrow. Tomorrow, aka Friday. Pot, no, really, no, more Saturday. Even though I gotta work Saturday. Don't do it. Start it right where this began. <laughs> I mean it. Because you, you, you can't be like, yeah, look into my memories and finding out that it's your sister's memories and we're going to see how this birthed this evil and this depression and sickness inside of her. And wanting to, you know, do everything that she can in order to save Yoni. But, still, with Ruka, Ruka and Amiru, I, I, I was expecting it. But at the same time, I was not. I, I just... <sighs> she wanted to be with her. And she, it, when she met... <sighs> I feel for her. I really do. Because I, I thought really she was strong enough. Even with the way episode 15 ended. I really thought Roka was strong enough to avoid those feelings. But even sleeping with her. Being in the same bed with her at that moment. She's still like these feelings that I have will never go away. And the only way that I can truly be with her if she is the same is if you know we're the same way but that that's not gonna help and now that they're both evil it's like bruh like oh my god <sighs> i just hope that next week for episode 17 and 18 but specifically 17 give us a lot more answers or clues to things that i still need to know about like i said we're very close to being done with this and there still is a lot of unanswered questions with this show um, like I've said before in the past, I cannot imagine watching this last year, week after week, and wanting to know all these questions and possibly not getting answered those answers to those specific questions until several weeks later, or possibly finishing the series and not even still getting a lot of unanswered questions. I mean, yes, a lot of animes that I have seen, a lot of TV shows that I've seen, movies that I've seen, books that I've read have done that. And you're like, wait, hold on, this is important just as much as the plot and everything, but I need this answered. Hell, video games have done that too. But, I, I mean, I'm just hoping that, you know, episode 17 gives me a lot of clarity in the connection of Yori and her older sister. But, of course, we ain't gonna know until next week. But, like, yeah, I, I was not expecting, um that to specifically happen but the fact that it did it's like okay what else is gonna surprise me in this because like I feel like it's always going this way and then it's like arr, arr, high left high right you know we're gonna take a little twist right here you know <laughs> but it's okay I love it but it's like still <sighs> if you can get the girl's feelings back without sacrificing what, you, what else can you do besides sacrificing her you 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 gave me a little bit but then you still gave me like not enough so i feel like there has to be something else of course but they're not going to figure it out until the end of the series possibly are getting close to it but 
you know, we gotta wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 15 and 16 of Blue Reflection, right? If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 17 and 18. Bye, guys.